To help define our workspace, ARCHICAD works in stories. To help explain this, if I go Control 7 or go to Design, Story Settings, our Story Settings palette opens up. Now, rather than having a complicated system of layers and layer combinations, which other programs might do, ARCHICAD uses a real virtual building methodology where you build on each level and build your building up by using these stories. Over here we've got an AHD level, which is at the moment 0 to 0, and we, then we have a ground level, just like you would on a building site, your first story, and a roof. These stories can be changed at any time, and now can also be adjusted from the story or section elevation window. We can also insert stories above and call it whatever we like and that name will be displayed in the top left hand corner of the particular window that you're looking in and will also be displayed in your navigator or in your project map. So if I just call this upper roof and I'm just going to leave everything there and I push OK, we can see that Upper Roof has straight away appeared in the navigator in the project map, but not in my view sets because I haven't defined a view set that I want for a drawing yet. If I go back to Control 7, we can also insert a story below and we can also delete stories. We can also show ghost stories. I'm just going to check that at the moment. At the moment, it's on above current story I can also set it to below current story and I can also put it to anywhere I like in fact in the project options we can also change the ghost story color and we can just say check all types so everything on the floor plan is displayed as a ghost or I can select individual items and just get those to be displayed by the ghost story now I can also cut and paste elements from stories. So for example, if I wanted to grab the walls from the ground floor and I could go copy all by just checking the walls or whatever I needed to grab from there, copy all and then click on the upper roof where I want to paste it and just press paste selected types. By pushing OK, you find out that that ground floor is over here, which this won't make much sense if I'm in the 3D window, but I'm just trying to show that you can do it at the moment. So that's what I've done. And this is, I can just grab all that and, un and just delete it. Now I'm going to go back to the roof floor. First story, now we can see the roof is actually ghosted against this first story. Now if I push Control 7, and I want to get the ghost story below the current story, I can push OK. Now the ghost story is from the ground floor. Now if I go up to this floor here, with the ghost story on, I can actually rest my mouse over the item, and in the info palette, it's actually telling me it's on story 1, and it's ghosted, so I can't actually grab it. So if I go to an elevation, here are my elevation markers and how they relate to this window here. If I want to deselect some and not show the marker, I can just push OK and then that marker should disappear. The other thing I can also do is adjust the stories using the elevation markers. Just to illustrate this, I might go back to the story settings by going Control 7 and I might just insert a couple of extra stories just might call this call this story five. This one can be called six. This one can be called seven. Now I want all the markers showing on the floor plan just to illustrate the point. So there's all my markers. And because I'm going to move the markers, I'm going to place a couple of hotspots so I don't lose the important points. Because when we edit the levels from a section elevation window it's not undoable so it's a good idea to put a couple of hotspots there to help to move the story markers back to their original position now if I rest my mouse above one of the section elevation height markers a little tick will come up if I right mouse click when that tick comes up I can select edit story levels 
Once I push edit story levels, we've, we've got four options. We can edit only the chosen level and to do that, once again, we come along to this point here when it becomes a tick, I can left mouse click and hold my mouse button down and move that up to anywhere I like. If I go control Z, nothing happens. That's what I mean, it's not undoable. So I'm just going to move it back roughly to where I wanted. And then the next option is I edit all levels below the chosen level. So if I click that and select select this elevation marker, we can see all of the ones, all of the markers below this node moving. Then move above, then edit all levels above the chosen level. So if I select this one and move it up, we can see just all the levels above moving. Move that back down. And then I can move them all at the same time. So, that, so there's our four options for our story editing. And I push OK. And, and that's a brief explanation of how stories work in Archicad.